The following program is brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends. Welcome to the Kevin Shorey Show, coming to you from the Branson Mill in Branson, Missouri. Today's special guest, Donnie Jones. And now, here's your host, Kevin Shorey. Yeah! Somebody bless the Lord. The Bible tells us, I will bless the Lord at all times at his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Even when you're going, especially when you're going through the tough times, you need to praise him. Uh, I wrote a song with my brother one time. We recorded it. Not that anybody bought the CD, but we recorded a song that, uh, that the Lord gave me uh, thinking about going through the midnight hour. They call the midnight hour a tough time, but see, with the Lord, the midnight hour is not the end. It's the beginning of a new day with God because he's always working everything together for good. So we begin to write. In the midnight hour, when you fall down on your knees, that's when the Holy Ghost in power will cause a pain to cease. So when you're at your lowest, just rebuke the devourer and God will surely rescue you in the midnight hour. One more time, say it in your midnight hour. When you fall down on your knees, the Holy Ghost in power, He will cause the pain to see. So when you're at your lowest, that's when you rebuke the devourer, and God will surely rescue you in the midnight hour. I know that God will surely rescue you in the midnight hour. I believe it. God will surely rescue you. Bless the Lord. You can have emergency backup power for lights, electronics, small appliances, and communication with this new solar power source, Fuelless Generator. You don't have to store up gasoline. You don't have to be worried when the electricity goes out. All you have to do is turn on your solar power generator and lift up the Fuelless Generator solar panel. Then take the plug, as so. Here we go. Let me find the plug. There it is. Plug it right in the front. Point it to the sun. And within 20 to 30 minutes or less, you have this fuelless generator powered up. You can have a light source and communication, the two main things they say you need through any crisis. Look as the lights turn on even now. In your darkness, you can say, let there be light. You also have all the connectors for all kinds of communication with your iPad, your iPhone, most all smartphones, Android, etc., will plug into the USB ports right here on this fuelless generator. You can have this now for $899. If you go online or on television, you can get generators for two to three thousand dollars, but not three thousand, not two thousand, but eight hundred and ninety-nine. And if you act now, you can get a second one for $100 off, $799. That's right. Other places you'll go, $3,000. Not here. $2,000. Not here. $1,000? No. $899. You can do it right now, right there on the website, kevinchory.com. Just push the button that says Fuelless Generator. Go to Kevin's shop, and with your debit or credit card, you can order it today. If you choose to write, you can go to P.O. Box 525. Reeds Spring, Missouri, 65737, and write your check or money order to Kevin Shorey Ministry. That's only $899. You will have the solar panel, the lights, the connectors, one-year warranty as well, and we'll give you an 800 number that you can call 24 hours a day, seven days a week for any questions you might have. And, of course, you'll get the solar power source, the fuelish generator. Act now, and it can be yours today and you can have peace of mind. Yes, stay charged up. Right? You can 
stay charged up. Keep stuff like this going. No, you don't want to. You don't care about that in a crisis. The last thing you need is glasses. But uh, I'm telling you, if you want to keep the lights on, look, this one's still powered up. Now, you know, I found out something that I didn't necessarily say a lot that, uh, that I, I sometimes forget to say. But once this is powered up and the solar panel comes with it, once it is juiced up, it holds its power for almost a year. It will hold up to a year power. You don't have to keep recharging it every time. You, you know, I mean, once you use it, you, you recharge it. But you can hold this up to a year to hold its charge. Check it every couple months to make sure. But it will tell you, the light indicator will tell you. And this is a great thing for you to have. Let me just mention one thing. Well, I can mention that when we come back. I want to get to a song. How many want to hear a song? I have found a brand new singer-songwriter that is one of my favorites. Would you put your hands together? Let's welcome and praise the Lord together with Donnie Jones. Oh, how many of you know that the Word of God says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower? The righteous run into it and they are saved. Amen? Come on, put your hands together with us. Yeshua, my refuge, my fortress, my strong and mighty tower. You are the great I am, the risen Lamb, Jehovah, my provider. You are my refuge, my fortress, my strong and mighty tower. You are the great I am, the risen Lamb, Jehovah, my provider. I know you've given me all the strength I need and the faith to overcome. So I will praise you while the battle rages, cause I know I've already won. Yes, you are my refuge, my fortress, my strong and mighty tower. You are the great I am, the risen Lamb, Jehovah, my provider. I know you've given me all the strength I need and the faith to overcome. Come, so I will praise you while the battle rages Cause I know I've already won Yes, you are my refuge My fortress My strong tower My provider It's Jehovah my say My refuge Oh Lord your name, Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Oh Lord, I sing your praise. Jehovah, my say, my refuge. Oh Lord, I bless your name. Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Oh Lord, I sing your praise. Jehovah, my say, my refuge. Oh Lord, I bless your name. Jehovah Jireh, my provider, oh Lord, I sing your praise. And I know you've given me all the strength I need and the faith to overcome. So I will praise you while the battle rages, cause I know I've already won. Oh, come on, put your hands and say, you are my refuge, my fortress. My strong and mighty tower, you are the great I am, the risen Lamb, Jehovah, my provider. You are my refuge, my fortress, my strong and mighty tower. You are the great I am, the risen Lamb, Jehovah, my provider. Jehovah, my provider. Jehovah. Give the Lord a praise offering today. We got a reprise. Come on, do y'all believe that? Has he provided? Jehovah my say, my refuge. Oh Lord, I bless your name. Jehovah Jireh, my provider. Oh Lord, I sing your praise. Yeshua, my refuge, my fortress, my strong and mighty tower. You are the great I the risen Lamb, Jehovah, my provider, Jehovah, my provider, Jehovah, my 
Applemeyer. Yeah! Come on over, Donnie, if you would. While he's coming over, I want to read you what Deuteronomy tells us in chapter 11. He sets before you this day a blessing and a curse. A blessing is yours if you will obey the commands of the Lord. He will be your Jehovah Jireh, which in the Hebrew means your provider. He's the God that provides. How many know that he always provides? Yes. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, David said, or his seed out begging bread. God will bless you today. Paul Amen. said in Philippians that he will supply all your needs. Yes. Somebody say all. all. All is more than a detergent. Come on. It means every one of your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I love the Lord today. And I want to serve him. It says though if you're cursed with a curse if you don't obey his commands. And so he sets a, a choice. But before you today, will you choose blessing or will you choose cursing? And by the way, I'm reading that out of the original English translation. Oh, it's the Geneva Bible. Remember this Geneva Bible last time you were yes, here? Yes, sir. We have been offering this because I think everybody should have this as their collection. This is the Patriots edition. This translation came over on the Mayflower. It dates back before King James Version. And so everybody should have this for their collection. And uh, it's very simple. You can call or write us and find out how to do that or look on our website at kevinshory.com. But it's for a love gift of $40 or more. Choose blessings. I want Absolutely. to choose blessing today. Absolutely. I'm glad you started off with that song. That's the uh, scripture that was in my heart today. That we want to choose the blessing of the Lord. Absolutely. And we can choose that. Yep. I get uh, reprimanded by some of those that speak to, into my life. Some of my, the leaders of, of this nation that speak to me. Evangelists, pastors that I choose to, to collect their wisdom. That's, that really, uh, especially since I do a talk show, uh -huh. watch what I'm saying every day watch the words and all of us can learn the confession of our faith Absolutely. the confession of our mouth means so much they say well you're talking about confessing a new car or a new i'm not talking about that because the bible clearly says ask what you will and it shall be done for you if you abide in my words Absolutely. you got to know what the word says about it it doesn't say you can ask for a cadillac tomorrow mm -hmm. Although I would really would love a Cadillac. But I, it's, it's not, uh, I want an old one too. I, don't, I want a used one, just throwing that out there. But I mean, I'm saying when you, you'll ask correctly, Absolutely. if you're asking, Jesus said that in the Gospels of John, that if you abide in me and my words abide in right. you, ask what you will and it shall be done. And so I just want to speak that he's my Jehovah Jireh. Absolutely. That he's my provider, that he's Jehovah Rapha, my healer. Absolutely. He is my banner. He is yes. my righteousness. Those are all the Hebrew words of the names of God. And uh, am I right? Oh, you, you're, you're so, you couldn't be more right. That's a um, kind of a soapbox that I'm on lately. Come on. Um, uh, we live in a day today, I, I was asked a couple weeks ago, uh, the, the new, um, I call it fight in the church, it always seems like, uh, you can't tell uh, modern day politics from the church. They're all on the same right. side yes. against each other. Yes. And but someone asked me, they said, you live by grace or by law? And my reply was yes. Yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> um, Good answer. You, you just said that. You are that a word, politician, whether you know. <laughs> <laughs> that word if, I believe, is used 331 times Come in on the word now. of God. Yeah. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Mm-hmm. Um, the the thing about the I, I believe that uh, I've, I've grown up in music. I've played drums since I was five. My mom and dad pastored, and and so music has always been a touchy subject in the church. Always, yeah. And, and it still is. Uh, it's it, it's it's so easy to get in the. It's not new enough. It's not old enough. It's all these. Well, it's an important things. too as our confession as well. Oh, uh, what we abs, sing abs, means so much. Oh, and see, and that's where I'm coming from is. A lot of stuff today is pretty, but it's not biblical. Well. And a lot of stuff from yesterday is pretty, but it wasn't biblical. Right. I have a few <laughs> hymns that I have problems with, but and so, I don't want to hurt anybody's but, feelings. But so do you know, what the, you know what I think the, the deal is? is that I believe that the new tool the enemy is using in the church is law versus grace. Mm. Because, I, and, and, and I, I cannot live without God's grace. Amen. I, I mean, it's the, only reason I'm, it, right. it's the only reason I'm here. But the Word of God says in Joshua, this book of the law will not depart all out of right. my mouth, on, but I will man. meditate on it both day and night, carefully observing all that is written therein. For then will I make my way prosperous, and then will I have success. Yes. Psalms says, blessed is the man that does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of the sinner, nor sit in the seat of the scornful, but his delight 
is in the law, law of the Lord. And in that law does he meditate both day mm -hmm. and night. And and he Jesus will be like a very tree. Clear. Yeah, a tree planted absolutely. by... Absolutely. Jesus made clear that he didn't come to abolish the law. Oh, absolutely. And okay. so, you know what I think the deal is? I think the deal is, is, is it is a tool that's infiltrating the church. And um, I, I, I was born on that last uh, few years of the generation... Uh, that they call uh, Generation X or the mm -hmm. latchkey kids. Yeah. Um, and so I, I, as an 80s kid, as an 80s kid, I see that mindset. I'm a sixth generation preacher in my family. But my baby sister is uh, the new generation coming up, the millennials. Millennials. And I see where the millennials, they don't know the word. Right. So if you don't know your word, how can you live with the provision. Right, right, right. And I believe that the tool that the enemy is using is let me get them believing that the gr that the grace is wonderful. It is wonderful. Yeah. But let me get them believing that the law no longer applies to their mm. life. And if you don't know the word, right. then you don't know what God has for you. You don't know yeah. the promises that you have. That's why he said that that he delights in the law of the Lord. I uh, understand that the law is on my side. I understand that the law is not just Levitical law. It is the word of God. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. All things were made by him. My dad used to always say, Brother Kevin, growing up, my dad used to always tell me, Son, it's impossible to say you love God and not love God's word. Yeah. Because he is the he word. He is the word. That's right. And you're only as spiritual as you are scriptural. Oh, and that's where my that's where my heart word. is is today is to teach the word of God right so that people can put it in their heart. I, I'm yeah. talking the whole word, every bit of every it, bit. all those ifs, all, you mm -hmm. know, everything that God tells us to do. If we get it in our heart, if we teach it to our children, and they get it in their heart, then they will be successful. Then they will be prosperous. Yeah. And, and we've got to get back in our pulpits, on the platform, everywhere we have the opportunity. My heart is to get the word of God right. into the hearts of his people. Uh, that they know it. Awesome. That they know it. Yeah, it, we want to go to either or. We do that a lot in and, Christianity. Yeah. And it's not. It's exactly. all of the above. It's, Come on. Exactly. That's why the kingdom is so is to be preached because the kingdom is all these things. Oh, absolutely. It's all. And the if, like, if you abide in my word, yeah. my words abide in you, then you can yeah. ask what you will. But we want to ask. We want to just freely, oh, I can get away with this. And that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the grace. Right. And uh, But then there's those that all about the law. Right. Well, we don't want any of the great, you know, it's all the law. You got to keep the command. Well, we can't keep the commandments. We have right. to have his grace. Absolutely. We have to have his unmerited Absolutely. favor. And so it's not either or it's all of the above. It's all of the above. And we really, uh, and, and everything that we do, it really comes back to the word. That really Abs is the foundation. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. All that we do, because sometimes we'll receive, we'll receive a word, a word, uh -huh. Right. But it has to be back and grounded by the word oh, of God. Oh, absolutely. I don't care what prophecy or even if he's a great prophet of God that gives you absolutely. a word. If it does not match with absolutely. the word of God. Uh, I was with uh, Dr. Bro Best the other day. He said somebody came up to me the other day and says, uh, God told me that this other woman is supposed to be my wife. And he says, well, wait a minute. You're married to somebody else. <laughs> well, I mean, right. but he really thought that was a word from God that he's supposed to leave his wife and go to another woman. I mean, it was sincere. And it's because, but, it's because today it's not there's, the word. and people don't know their word. That, and well, that's, that's, that's the, the passion thing. of my yeah. heart, is that people, they really don't know what it says. They've heard, have you ever been in a church service? This one cracks me up. And someone <laughs> will pray, and they don't know enough scripture, they'll start quoting a hymn. Yeah, oh sure. Lord lightly, oh hymn says. And I'm like, what's the yeah. Bible say? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that reminds me, I think it's Steve Harvey that tells of the testimony time, and a lady gets up and says, the weather started getting rough. The tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the minnow would be lost. I want to hear to tell you, God will save you from being lost. You know, she's quoting, you know, Gilligan's Island's yeah, theme song. Awesome. But, uh, you know, so we want to always switch to, <laughs> we want to switch to the carnal and the easy things to go to. It's not easy to stay in the word. It's not right. easy even sometimes to read the word, you know. You, but if you eat of that book, it's oh. like, you know, it's like broccoli and spinach. You may not like it, but it's good for you. Yep. You got to eat Absolutely. it. Absolutely. That's why the prophet said, eat the book. Mm -hmm. Come on, eat it. Consume it. Let it be a part of you. I do with all 
my heart absolutely. want people to get back to the Word oh, absolutely. of God. Absolutely. And, and this program will always be about the Word of God. I'm telling you, there may be many programs that you can find all over the place, but I'm telling you, this is more than entertainment. This is why our theme to our show, we told all of the networks that are playing us, we are entertainment with a message. That's awesome. And that message is the Word of God. And any I stray from it, I got Pastor Daryl. I have some leaders that will set me in place. Absolutely. My mama. You know, and, and I, was on, I was on social media the other day, and, uh, um, and it just it breaks my heart to see uh, an older generation attacking a younger generation and a younger generation attacking an older oh, generation. Yeah. Once again. And, and, it, and it, kill, it kills me. And, and, and it's, always the same, it's always the same thing. Should he wear a suit? Should he wear jeans? Uh, <laughs> whatever. It's Man, if, 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 I, if I can wear flip-flops and Come tell someone on. about Jesus, right. I'm going to wear flip-flops. Jesus it, wore flip-flops. Absolutely. Come on. Abso he wore sandals, absolutely. didn't he? Come and, on. That, and that's the thing is, is, man, people are dying and going to hell. Because of the fighting and the arguing and the bickering and the... And I'm thinking if yeah. we spend as much time telling someone the gospel yeah. that we do fighting, you know, uh, I, I heard someone say it was, it was so simple yet so, so truth. He said, what divide, what, in what we believe mm. divides us. Mm. But it's in whom we should believe mm. that should unite us. Come on now, Ooh. and and that's the thing. It's that's no matter, good. That is great. No, no matter what denomination that's your right. background is. That's right. Man, we are on the same team. We are, and I believe with all of my heart. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm one of them. I'm, I'm begging God, let me be one of them. But I believe that there are some young men and young women that are rising up. Saying, saying, you know what? If it costs me everything, mm. I will tell the world about Jesus. Amen. Amen. Because as Paul, I believe it's as happening. Paul said, said, everything that I once held dear mm. is now trashed me. Yes, yes. Since yes. I've met him, counted as loss. That's mm. right. Oh man, that is good, 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 good preaching. I, I just want. Those that are watching today, I want you to, to experience Jesus in the real way, not the yes. religious way. I, I say this all the time. When it comes to denominations, or you know, they want to put a tag on you. Are, you. are you this denomination? Or are you a grace person? Are you a faith person? Are you the law? Per, you know, they want to throw these tags on you, but tags don't mean much. Right. If you go to heaven, they're all going to be torn off. That's right. If you go the other place, they'll get burned off. So either way, <laughs> tags are nothing. <laughs> Take off the tags. Open up your heart to Jesus. Yes, Jesus amen. is Jesus only. Amen. Who, by the way, did wear flip-flops. Amen? Amen. But if he could have, he would have wore the shoes you have on right there. You know. I'm telling you, those <laughs> shoes rock. Can you <laughs> get those <laughs> shoes and those socks? Are, brother, are I'm, even a, louder, I'm a brother. sock guy. I am a sock there guy. There you go. Brother Mark asked me what size shoes I wear. Yes. And oh, yeah. My he feet are a little them. bit bigger than his. Okay. And so I'm going to have. Are you close have, to 12s? Uh, they are they are close to twelves. Really? Yes, sir. That's me, twelve. Well, if Just if saying. if they fit you, they're yours. No, I, I no, no, no. That. I wouldn't do um, that. But I think they're pretty awesome. But uh, no, to, <laughs> to really, really, really see, seriously, uh, you know that that's an illustration itself, because it's it's really not the shoe you wear, the clothes you no, wear, not at all. Even the church you may walk into. It's the seriousness of the attitude of your heart. Mm -hmm. And if you've given him your heart today, Absolutely. would you give Jesus your heart? Yes. Donnie, lead somebody. Look into the camera and lead somebody to God. It's all about surrendering your heart and your life. And it's not bondage to give everything to Jesus. Do we look like we're in bondage? No, we're having a good time. Because whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And he's going to lead you. Pray with him. Accept him today. Surrender your heart. To Jesus. Wherever you're sitting right now, the Word of God tells us, the, wor the Word of God tells us that it is the Holy Spirit that draws man to repentance. So I believe that wherever you're at, if you're in your living room uh, watching this, if you are at a desk, at a computer, uh, you might be washing dishes right now, wow. watching this on TV, but there is a you, gentle calling to you right now. I just want you to understand that everything that I once held dear is trash to me now. Just like the Apostle Paul said, since I've met Jesus. And since I've met him, he 
is all I want, and yet he takes care of every need I have. Every burden I can lay at his feet. The word of God says, cast all of your cares on him because he cares for you. So if that's you today, why don't you just say this prayer with me? I am a sinner in need of a savior. Lord, the life that I've been living, there's something missing, and I know it's you. I pray right now, Father, that you'll forgive me of all of my sins. Make me brand new. A new creation is what your word tells us. Your word tells us that, that since I'm a new creation, everything of yesterday is now gone. Yes, thank you, Lord. And this is a new day. I'm a new person. I'm a child of the King. Come into my heart and live there forever. Yes, Lord. And I make you the ruler and King of my life. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hey, and wherever you're at, you need to thank God right now. That's because right. according to the Apostle Paul, you are no longer called a servant. Mm. But you are now a child you, of the King of Kings. <laughs> And the Lord of Lords. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Rejoice in that. The old has passed away and all things have become new. And uh, let us know. Call us. It's toll free, uh, uh, you know, for most people. 20944 Kevin. Or write us and tell us what this program has meant to you. And we'll continue to pray with you. We have a prayer list of people already. We'll, we'll add you to the list and continue to pray with you that God will strengthen you and help you. Donnie Jones is going to sing us one more at least. And uh, I know all his songs are scripture-based, it sounds like. Now, did you write all the songs it, you're singing? Yes, sir. Yeah. And are they coming on a new CD? What are yes. We doing? Uh, right now, the tracks that you're hearing, uh, where am I at? Right there. The tracks that you're hearing right now, uh, they don't have any background vocals on them. You're hearing the three of us. And we are actually scheduled uh, April 8th to cut those uh, in Nashville. And then April 15th, uh, they'll be released on iTunes. All right. Yes. Well, we can't wait. We have to have you back before okay. then. Cool. So we can promote it again. What you singing now? Hey, this song I wrote called Worthy is the Lamb. Oh, come on. He is worthy, yep. isn't he? The thought crossed my mind that every day uh, the angels gather around the Lord and they tell him that he's holy. Yet they have no comprehension like what we do that we're redeemed. Mm. Wow. It's something to be redeemed. That and, is awesome. And that's yeah. a feeling that only the child of God what knows. What a thought. Well, that'll preach all by itself. Here's Donnie Jones to sing Worthy is the Lamb. You gave your life for me Way back on Calvary the perfect sacrifice Yes, I have been redeemed The preceding program was brought to you by Kevin Shorey Ministries and our family of friends And approach your holy